Hey guys, welcome back again to the channel. And as you know, iOS 18 developer beta is out now. And I hope that you have installed it on your phone if you want to test the new features. In this video, we're gonna be talking about Control Center. As we saw lots of changes when we compare it to iOS 17. So let's see what's new in the Control Center for iOS 18. So we have two phones right here. On the left side, we have a phone which has iOS 17.5.1 in it. And on the right side, we have an iPhone with iOS 18 developer beta installed in it. So now if we go back to the home screen and let's just scroll down from the top right so that we can see control center on both of these devices. So first, if we compare the whole UI has been tweaked a little in iOS 18. And if we look in iOS 17, it looks pretty basic and there's not much we can do here. But if we look at iOS 18 and if we just tap and hold here and now we can remove control center icons and let's say if we want to add then we just have to tap here add a control and we can pick from all of these various control center icons and that way you can add all of your control center icons that you use frequently and are your favorite. So let's just add this music widget here so select it and you can see it's been added here and not just that we can move these control center icons with very much ease and if we just tap here then we can easily resize our control center icons in any shape or form that we want which is a pretty cool way to resize your control center icons and adjust according to your preference which of course in iOS 17 we could not do anything like that if we just scroll down we can see different types of pages here as well. So that way we want to add more control center icons. We can also do that. And then we scroll down. We have a whole music tab here. And then at the end we have this section which shows all about connectivity and network. So you can access anything related to connectivity and network right from here. And not just that. If we go back up again and if we tap here. Then again this page will automatically open. Now if we compare it from iOS 17. First of all you can see that this brightness and this sound icon has been changed. Now it has got colors in iOS 18. And if we look in iOS 17 it was just great out now apart from this at the top right there's this switch off icon as well and if i just tap on it i can power off my iphone right from here and if we look at ios 17 there were no such icons like that here that's a little addition right here in ios 18 so now if we go to the lock screen here on both of these devices and if we just tap and hold and here tap on customize and now tap on lock screen and now you can see this option here in ios 18 that i can remove this lock screen control center icons as well well on the ios 17 we don't have that functionality so if i just tap here on ios 18 then that icon has gone and there's this grayed out plus icon. If I just tap on it, then again I can choose from all of these control center icons. And I can add that specific one which I mostly use. So let's say since we've got a new feature in calculator, so it's pretty obvious to use that right whenever you need it. So just tap on calculator and you can see our calculator icon is added here. Then just tap on done and again tap and now if I want to access calculator, I can do that right from the lock screen. So to open it, we can't just tap here. We have to tap and hold to open it. Well, on iOS 17, there's no such feature like that. So that was the complete guide on the control center. So we talked about what's new in it. How is it different from iOS 17? And what are the new functionalities that has been added in the newly designed control center? And if you've reached it, definitely like this video, share it with your friends and family. And don't forget to comment down below. Also subscribe to our channel that is iGeeks Blog. And I'll see you guys in the next video with more upcoming features about iOS 18.